Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on with my third video for Not Just For Boys Kit Club for November 2021, but this time I am using the deluxe theme kit called Bring On The Magic, and it, we had all of these foamy titles, and I thought they would be awesome. They're by Simple Stories. So I decided to take all the big words and just have them go all the way down my page. This piece right here is Paige Evans, Bungalow Lane number 15. And I like this super strong graphic. The other side is Pebbles Kid at Heart that has this gorgeous mustard with the word smile on it over and over and over again. So I'm gonna mat the stripey paper on top of the smile paper and then I'm gonna distress all of my edges. Now, this is my photo. And what the photo is, it's these sunflower fields. Oh, I cut out that little high. These sunflower fields in northern Michigan. And we are just driving down the road. I saw them with this gorgeous old barn. And I was like, and just pulled over and had to take some pics. So I'm going to take right here my one inch punch and punch out these little half circles to create pretty much my die cuts for this page. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do, like die cut wise or, you know, fussy cut wise, detail cut, whatever. And this is what I came up with. Putting the halves of these circles together and do a diagonal design from left to right down the page. And then go ahead and put my titles right here and then just have it cascade. So here you see the basic design that I have. now. The foamy circles that are sitting on top of the others, I'm sorry, the circles, they're popped up on just a little bit of foam for dimension, and they're just kind of doing a wonky cascade. This uh, washi tape that you see right here, that was in the kit, and it has these like different gradations on graph paper of blues and like a really subtle blushy pink color. So I thought that would really work so my photo would have a little shelf kind of dealio to sit on. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out three of these tags for further die cuts uh, to go above my photo. Now we're just going to finish this up. I want to include some little bits and pieces to finish this off. So I am loving these cute little flowers that are on our Sim Simple Stories uh, foam stickers. So I'm popping some of the smaller ones here and there on my circles and really it's just embellishing them and bringing texture dimension and and the uh foam stickers as well they have this really slight satin sheen so you get a different vibe off of them i really i i so love that and i do like when these thicker sheets include things like not just words, but you have arrows and you have flowers and and different little pieces of interest. So brought in the flowers. I really liked the way that looked since we're obviously looking at a ton of sunflowers. So I'm not sure if you remember, but I did go ahead in the beginning and detail cut out this little word that reads hi that's on this flower. So I'll go ahead and just tuck that little fella in. I wanna go ahead and give it a nice scuff so it matches the rest of the elements. So I have some really good traction going on. I did go ahead and use a little bit of twine that I had handy in my stash just to put in my tags and give a little texture. I. I showed you guys earlier that I cut out this little flower that reads hi, and I thought I would see about popping that under there as a cute little die cut. That's awesome. Let's see. I love these foamy bits with the flower. So I think all that I have left, ooh, look at this little, oh, I have a geotag and I got some of the sticker beneath it messed up. Whoops. So I thought maybe I could use a geotag in one. Is there another geotag? Oh, there is another geotag. I like the idea of using a little something in each of these circle bits because then it's kind of like they are like little tiny layouts. I don't know if I'd want to use... Maybe I should switch these. I'll switch these two. So I didn't have blue on blue, a little contrast. So all I have left is I have this sequins mix from the a la carte section in the store. 
and I want to sprinkle some along on the circly bits as well and then this one would be done. So let me get some sequins on. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, that finishes this layout up. I ended up using both of our sequin mixes that were in the a la carte section of the store to get the exact colors that I want. And I love that we get to do that because we have the world's best sequin mixes for our layouts. Uh, I showed you the twine, a little bit of gold there. So I did make sure to get a nice metallic sequin. Let me show you what I mean. Can you see this one right here? It's got a bit of a, I don't know, a goldy vibe. So it helped to bring in that color that I have in the twine. And that is it for this layout. I think it's super fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. I will have links down below for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club website, the blog, as well as our Facebook group. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below for me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. That is it for now, friends. Bye-bye.